Good morning, guys. So it's the morning of day three today. Uh, you know, we woke up to this amazing view. And like yesterday, where the place was great, but there was a lot of fog in the morning. So we weren't able to enjoy the whole thing. But that's not what's happening today. You know, the views are amazing from here. Uh, the sun is out. We got our solar panels out. These are the Jackery Solar Saga 100s. We have two 100 watt solar panels. Uh, you know, we figured we might as well take a little something from the sun that we have this going on this morning. And we pull them out. And I mean, we are happy to report the Jackery is completely charging out of solar. It's uh, ranging between 115 and 120 watts, which is great, especially considering, um, you know, it's very, very cold. There is a slight amount of haze uh, in the air. And I mean, it's only 8, uh, 815 in the morning. So we are very happy with the performance of both the Jackery unit, which has been essential to say the least. I mean, this is where uh, we charge all our electronics, our cameras, our computer, our cell phones, everything is charged out of the Jackery and the solar panels are a great, great complement to, to the Jackery. Yeah, we're gonna charge it just a little bit more. We're already packing up camp and we'll get going. We will move now to our next track of today and uh, hopefully we will find a spot as nice as this one for sure. We're going towards the snow right now, so it will be quite nice. And uh, yeah, let's keep on moving. at this moment that he knew he fucked up autorización permiso para circular por la pista no posible vehículo identificación So, you probably just noticed some uh, forest guards stopping us. Yeah, it was a wildlife, uh, wildlife guard. Uh, he basically told us we couldn't drive up those trails. Those were restricted for, uh, for the sheepmen and stuff. Uh, we got a, a small warning, but nothing special. You know, I mean, it's, it's lessons learned. Uh, we're out here exploring. Uh, we we take all our trash with us. We don't leave anything behind. We're not, you know, uh, doing Destroying anything in nature yeah. or uh, messing so, up. I mean, anything. we're not we're not too worried about this. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll keep our eyes open in the future for uh, warnings of uh, not being able to drive uh, places. But I mean, it's no big deal. Stuff goes on. We hope it's it remains just a warning and yeah it's not gonna affect anything from now on so let's go keep on going
So we made a quick pit stop here in a supermarket to get a few more stuff. We are in this uh, beautiful village, as you can see. Check the mountains there. It's quite nice. This village is on the a valley between the hills, between the mountains. So it's uh, it's very very. Uh... A few moments later. Merda nenhuma. É o que é. It's very different from uh, what we are used to because we don't have this uh, kind of mountains in uh, in Portugal, I'd say. And uh, this is just stunning, you know. It's just uh, completely beautiful. And uh, we'll keep going through these uh, roads, uh, try to get on some tracks around the mountains, and hopefully get on this uh, top of these hills with some snow to get more footage and a different experience as well. Yeah, just let's keep on rolling. Guys, finally what we were waiting for. We are on our way to a place called Piquanetu. It's the highest point of the Pyrenees. And you can already tell the scenery here is completely different from what we saw before. Just look at this. This is the whole purpose of our trip. We're gonna get out of the main road in just a little bit and we will start, you know, exploring a little bit more, which is what we like to do. And hopefully we'll find some good tracks that will take us up the mountains.
So yeah guys, today the day was uh, not without its hiccups, you know. We looked at the track this morning and noticed most of the way was on road and we wanted to explore a little bit more of the off road, you know. So we decided to, you know, explore a little bit and it didn't go out as we thought it would, you know. Uh, there are very, you know, tall mountains here and very big hills and what looked like we could easily go through uh, turned out that we couldn't. So we drove around 50 kilometers uh, north into France and then we had to drive all the way down because uh, we found out that there was no, no exit to where we wanted to go. Um, right now uh, we came to, we came back to the original track and we are gonna start a little bit of these, you know, corrugations here. So uh, we decided to lower the tire pressure a little bit so that the ride would be more comfortable. And we're gonna find a place to set up camp and call it a day. Espera, tú es buen pedo ahí, tú es buen pedo. So, we arrived to our uh, camping site of today. Was quite a long day as well because of all these uh, paths that we tried to uh, find, but we couldn't. So, we had to come back all the way and do our original one. But still, as you can see, was worth it because this place is amazing. Yeah, we ended up chugging a lot of miles on road, which we didn't want, but because we tried to go somewhere else, and take you know uh, off-road trails they ended up being like pedestrian only trails we we're talking really really steep and you know tiny uh hiking trails up the mountain so we figured we couldn't go there and we ended up driving you know an extra 100 kilometers yeah. uh, just to go back to where we were so that we could you know follow the original track um right here at the end we figured uh, we would take a little detour just to find a place to camp and this is what we found. I say it's pretty amazing. Quite worth it. As you can see the smell is still with us. <laughs> not, not as we thought it will be, but still. I mean, for the for the, the day it's quite nice too, so we can rest here and tomorrow we'll just get back on the road, on the tracks and follow what we have to do now. Let's build this campsite because I'm starving. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 